Right, what is up everybody and welcome. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to write the course reports for the general studies here at AOU. So you should get a folder just like this in your email. It's gonna be titled course report and these are the things that are inside. Okay, so here we have read me please and we're gonna start with this in a second. Okay, and then we have two samples of the course reports, one for EL111 and one for EL112. Then we have the student survey, and then we have the distribution of grades for both EL11 and EL12. So let's start with Read Me Please, and this is very important, and you'll see why in a second. This is just basically giving you brief instructions on how to write the course report. Think of my video as the practical way. You could follow along with this video, or you could look at the instructions here. It's fine. Okay, you can also pause the video if you don't want to read and just read it right now. So one, the course report will be prepared for the first semester for the of the academic year 2019 and 2020. Okay, so this is for only for the first semester of the academic year 2019 and 2020. Uh, the course report will be prepared at the branch level, so Riyadh and Jeddah, etc. as well, and by session, okay? I'll touch by uh, by session in a second. Every session section should have a report. If you taught more than one session, you will write a report for each session. And this is very important, everybody, just so you know that, for example, I'm going to be using um, Dr. Samah to illustrate how you could or how you should write the course report. So uh, I think Dr. Samah taught uh, four sessions, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to be writing one now. So for each session that he wrote, he will have to write a course report for it. Okay, so you can't just combine them into one course report and be done with it. No, that's not how you do it. Okay, so four course reports for different, uh, or sorry, four sessions for different course reports for each one. I hope that makes sense. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay, and here it's telling you to use the attached files uh, that you'll find in the folder. So please use the attached data in the AOU KSA distribution grades file to fill the distribution of grades in part C or in part C results table one, which contains the letter grade. We'll talk about all of this in a second. Okay, M5, to extract the needed information to fill in part F course uh, evaluation, kindly see the attached student survey data, which contains the student assessment of the course for the year 2019 and 2020. Okay, the next one is also really important because this is how you're going to title your um, Word file after you're done. So first, you'll see the short name of the form course support. So you'll write CR here here and then we'll add an underscore okay and then you're gonna want to get your course code so in my case I'm gonna be using EL 112 this is an example to you 170 but I'll be using EL 112 okay third you're gonna uh, mention which branch uh, is expressed here so we have Riyadh, Jeddah, Medina, Dammam, al Ahsa, and Hale okay so choose one where you're from and put that in and fourth, the session is expressed in a number such as uh, 101 or 1201. I'm going to be using uh, 2201. Okay. The f or fifth, sorry, the semester is expressed in a number such as first semester. Okay, so this is the first semester, so this will be one for all of us. And finally, the academic year and only write the numbers 1920. Okay, so we're going to write for the years 19 and 20. Okay. Now let's go and open the course report. Obviously, this will be up to you if you're at EL 111 or EL 112. So I'm uh, I'm going to be using Dr. Sameh. So he uh, he taught EL 112. All right, let's take a look here. All right, so before we start anything, I just want to let you know that we're going to have three types of texts. Okay, we're going to have red text, and that is fixed. Okay do not touch the red text. I repeat, do not even go near it. Just leave it be. Okay, so the text in red color is fixed. Don't change it at all. Okay, now the text in blue is going to be changed by not by you. It's going to be changed by the BCC. Okay, so again, keep that out. The text that you're concerned about is the one in gray. Th this is the one that is going to be changed by you guys. Okay, all tutors will have to change the text in gray color. Okay, or simply in gray. So let's go down here, as you'll see in your report, and this is where we're going to start. 
Okay, so we have instructor. Okay, you're gonna write your name. So for me, I'm gonna be using uh, Dr. Sama. I'm gonna be saying cancel here. Sorry about that. I'll say um, say Sama a dot glial. Okay, location. I'll say Jetta. Okay, number of sections one. Remember, we're gonna do everyone has to have one section per report okay you can add more than one okay and starting the course and completing the course we're gonna have to now minimize this for a second and go to the distribution of grades obviously depending on what you're doing so if you're in EL 111 you're gonna go to here if EL 112 then you're gonna go here and then choose the place where you work so for me that'll be Jetta okay give it a second okay here you can see uh, the section uh, section numbers, okay. The uh, number of students that got um, A, B plus, B, C plus. You get the idea, okay. And here we have the student percentage, and here we have the number of students that completed the course. Okay, so um, give me a second. Let me check here. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, two. Actually, this is for females, so I'm gonna go down here. Okay, I'm gonna use. 2201 okay this is for male so 2201 right here as you can see now it's much smaller all right so now I have the student percentage and the number of students with the different letter grades okay so uh, I want to know the number of students that completed the course I have 33 here so uh, that completed the course I'll say that'll be 33 okay and the ones that started the course, 34. Okay, so I'll write 34 here. Okay, I think it's understandable so far. All right, and then we're going to go down here. Obviously, this is in blue, so this is not for you to change. Just keep it the same way as it is. Okay, now let's go down here. Again, this is in red. Do not touch this, please. This is not for you to change. Okay, keep going, keep going. You don't need to do anything here. All right grades distribution of grades this is important this is we're gonna this is where we're gonna do a lot of work and we have the number of students and percentage for each one so we have a B plus B C plus C D plus you'll notice that D plus and a plus are both not applicable okay do not touch a plus and D plus because we don't have those uh, we don't have those here at AOU okay so we have D F obviously and here we have for status distributions you'll find things such as maybe pass fail incomplete in progress this will depend on your students and the database where you're checking from okay we also have uh, what is this withdrawn as well okay so now we're gonna go here and we'll check the number of students that got uh, a and a so we'll say one so this will be one here and the percentage will be 3.03 percent so I'll go over here and I'll say 3.03 percent going good now let's go to B plus we have three uh, so that'll be three and I think it was oops sorry about that that'll be 9.09 .09. <clears throat> and then we have for B we'll say 5 okay so for B that'll be 5 okay and 15.15 percent .15%. so that'll be 15.15 percent .15%. okay by the way don't be mistaken it's 15.15 .15, the 5 is down here okay this is one number not two C plus uh, C plus will be 7 21.21 so c plus will be 7 okay number of students and the percentage is 21.21 okay <clears throat> number of students that got a c that'll be 8 okay so 8 and i think it was give me a second here 24.24 .24. Sorry about that, 24.24. Okay, 24.24. Number of students that got a D, that'll be two. Okay, so we don't have D plus, remember, don't make that mistake. Okay, 
D, I think it was 2, right? I just forgot. Wow, 2. All right, so that'll be 2, and I think it was 2.06%. Okay? Or sorry about that, 6.06. .06, so not 2, 6, 6.06. 6, okay? And F for F, what do we, how much do we have? How many students? Sorry about that. F, that'll be 7. Okay, so 7 here. 21.21 so 21.21 okay what else do we have we do have withdrawn here so we'll say one uh, as such we have one and we'll say here it's about maybe 0 0.02 okay uh, pass I think the ones that pass we don't have a pass here so we'll uh, we'll talk about this in a second okay so comments on students' results. Okay, so you guys will obviously have to comment on the student results based on the scores here. So you could say that student grades are good or almost good. The percentage of the students who pass with grades A is dash. I'm obviously going to change this in a second. And the pass percentage, or sorry, uh, actually, sorry about that. I'm going to have to change this. Uh, we're going to change this to... Mm, we'll say students grade uh, grades uh, we'll change this no nope. give me a second I'll say maybe something like more obviously this is gonna be up to you I'm just writing this based on the scores that I have here so I'll say more work is needed in the areas of reading and writing okay uh, I think this is pretty good and then I'll say the percentage of students who failed so let me change this who failed is and I'll go check it from here so the ones that failed 7 and that's 21.21 percent so I'll say is 21.21 percent okay and then we're gonna also want to state the pass percentage now pretty sure you guys noticed that the pass percentage is not here so we're gonna have to manually find out the pass percentage okay how do you find that out it's really simple don't worry so I'm gonna open up my calculator here pretty standard okay I'm gonna add the number of students okay so the number of students here alright so I'm gonna add these without the fail okay I don't want the guys in F so I'm gonna add all of these and then I'll uh, multiply them by a hundred and then I'll divide those by I'll divide it sorry by those who completed the whole course okay so it'll look something like this don't worry it's really easy so we're gonna go with 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus Two, and that's it I'm gonna stop here because that's the end I don't want to take the F with me okay and then I'll, I have 26 right so I'm gonna multiply it now by a hundred okay 26 multiply a hundred and then I'll divide it by the ones that completed the course so who completed the course or how many 33 so I'll say 33 and boom that's the percentage that we want okay so one more time I'll read the formula out loud we add the number of students okay so the number of students here without the F remember by a hundred and then sorry I'm gonna multiply them by a hundred and then divide by those who completed the course so my percentage for the number of students that passed is 78 percent so I'm gonna write or sorry I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say 78 percent like so Okay, and here let me add the percentage sign. Oops, sorry about that. Right here, I'm gonna add this like so. Okay, so more work is needed in the areas of reading and writing. The percentage of the students who failed is 21.21% and the pass percentage is 78%. Okay, now let's go down here. Here we have recommendations. What do you recommend? Obviously, uh, this could be uh, a cut this comment could be used for recommendations but you should change it up 
let me go down here and write one of my own based on the scores that I found. You know your students best, so give recommendations based on what you see in your class. Okay, so I'll say maybe uh, something like students should be uh, encouraged, right? Encouraged to work more at, sorry about that, to work more at home. Okay, students should be encouraged to work more at home. And we could also say uh, students should prepare uh, before they come to class. Okay, so for recommendations, I'm going to say students should be encouraged to work more at home and students should prepare before they come to class. All right, you guys, now let's go down here. When it comes to knowledge, okay, these, you don't need to touch these. Like we said, the blue text is not for you to touch. It's for the BCC, okay? Here we have the target level. So for target level, you have 70s, okay? So 70% for each one. So did 70% pass the course? This will be entirely up to you and your students. Well, not up to you. It depends on the numbers, okay? So it depends on your numbers. For me, if you guys remember, it was 78. So for me, I'd say got that right so I'll say 78 we'll add an ED here past the course okay so is it achieved I'll say it is achieved if not you can just say no uh, what else what else what else right here I think I got it um, I did yep 70% here as well again I'll say 78 oh sorry percent uh, oops, 70% passed, passed the course. Okay, achieved, it is achieved, or it was achieved. Again, 70%, I'll say mine is 78, and I'll say passed the course. Okay, achieved or not, it'll be achieved. Uh, what else here as well? I could just take this one more. Yeah, I'll take it like so. I'll add it here, and I'll say achieved. Okay. Uh, one more. I think we do have one more here. Okay. We'll say achieved. Again, th these are my numbers. Yours could be different. If not, make sure you say that it's not achieved. Okay and write the correct percentage. All right, also recommendations, don't forget. So if you think you need to add a recommendation or two, please go ahead here, sorry about that. Now let me uh, write a recommendation of my own. Uh, I think we should, uh, we, or we could say something like, um, um, I don't know, I think we should say something like students should take advantage of uh, the facilities sorry about that wrote that wrong facilities uh, apparently I can't spell facilities okay uh, should work, uh, should hmm should take advantage of the facilities this is not facilities we'll say facilities right of the university learning this is not an uh, university learning uh, management learning management like so management system okay so students should take advantage of the facilities of the university learning management system All right now let's go to course evaluation uh, or course quality evaluation. All right, so for strengths, you're gonna see here that uh, the BCC is gonna be writing comments here and for strengths, areas for improvement and suggestions for improvement. And you should respond as a tutor, okay? So the ones that will be sent to you will have blue text here and you're gonna respond as a tutor, okay? Pretty simple stuff. Now let's go back here and you can see the number of participants and percentage of participation. 
So cl close the one that we open here, this one, we're not going to need this anymore. Go back to your original folder and open the student survey. Okay, you're going to, you're going to be scared for a second, but it's fine. We're going to go to the code. We're going to change this to general studies only. This is what we're interested in. Okay, we're going to change the gender to whatever you are. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change mine to male. Okay, um, what else am I going to change? Hmm. I'm going to go to course code and obviously I want EL112. If you want EL111 you can do that. So I'm going to get rid of all of these and I'll put EL112. Okay, and finally I'll go here and I'll choose uh, Dr. Sem. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of these first. You can obviously choose your name, so I'll go like so. <clears throat> okay, and for class number, I'm going to choose um, 02201. Okay, these are the ones that I was talking about. Right, now let's go here. So, number of participants. You're going to go here, I'm going to move all the way, or sorry, not here. Okay, here you have the ID right here, okay? ID number for each student, so you can see. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have eight students. We'll do that like so. Now, percentage of participation. To find the percentage of participation, it's really simple. We're gonna take the number of participants, right? So for me, it was eight, and I'll multiply by 100 and divide it divide the whole of it by the total, cla uh, total class number. And to find out the total class number, it's really simple. You'll go back to your folder and open the grade distribution again, like we said, and find out the ones that uh, start, the ones starting the whole course. So we have 34 here. So I'll take out my calculator, okay? And I'll say eight, okay? And I'll multiply that by 100, and then I'll divide it by the total class number, which is 34. Okay, I should get a percentage, that's correct. So 23.5 is my percentage. So I'll say uh, 23.5 is my percentage. So we did the per percentage of participation and number of participants. Okay, again, students feedback, you're gonna have, uh, actually, you're gonna find this at the student survey. So if you go here and move all the way, you're gonna see the comments. So here we have good luck, it was okay, and thanks. So based on these comments, you could give recommendations or give your response as a tutor, okay? Other evaluations, so things that the BCC is going to comment on, strengths, areas for improvement, again, and suggestions for improvement, and you should respond here, okay? Again, you could add more recommendations, so I'm going to add some more points to mine, add yours as well. Um, I think I'll say something like, as a tutor, um, and then maybe I'll do this, I'll take uh, students feedback into consideration okay uh, into consideration and I could also say I'll sorry about that I'll mm, work on the I'll work on the performance gaps they mentioned. Okay, so as a tutor, I'll take students' feedback into consideration. I'll work on the performance gaps they mentioned. Okay, and then here, obviously, we're going to leave this as is because it is in red. Okay, this is in blue, so I'm not going to touch this. And yeah, that is it. So this is how you finish the course report, you guys. I'm going to save this. Okay, close it. And now, like I said, we're going to have to rename it. Okay, so remember when I talked about the README in the beginning, now we're going to do it. So C, R, okay, stands for course report, and then I'll do E, L, 1, 1, sorry about that, E, L, 1, 12, and then I'll write a place where I work, so that'll be 
JD, Jetta, okay. And then I'll uh, do the number uh, or the course code, not the course code, sorry, uh, the section code, so 2201, okay. Then the number of semester or the semester number, sorry, so that'll be one. And finally, I'll write the year down. So I'll say, I'll say 19 and 20. Okay, that's it. So this is a completed course report. CR EL12 Jetta 2201 semester 1 1920. And you open it like so, and you'll see that it is now done. Give it a second. Boom. You could always, uh, you should actually delete these comments. Okay. I'm going to go down here, check everything's correct. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, perfect. Right. So I hope, I hope you guys got something out of this and thank you for listening. Have a good one.